Hey guys, this is Pushkaraj Sharke for Project Battlefit and today I'm making a short video on creatine monohydrate. Alright, so this is by far the most proven ergogenic aid that is non-steroidal that you can use in sport. Alright, there are a lot of rumors about the side effects of creatine but all of them, most of them that you hear of are absolutely unfounded and stupid. Alright, so uh, the first thing you hear about creatine monohydrate is that it causes bloating. Uh, no, creatine monohydrate does not cause bloating. Because you come across a lot of people who take creatine along with other steroids that, they, that they're using, like cheap stuff like Dianabol, is why they correlate the bloat to creatine monohydrate. Creatine monohydrate does not give you a bloat. It increases the cellular water in your cells, which is essential for energy, but does not create a vis visual bloat on your face, skin, body or whatever. So that is bullshit, all right? Secondly, a lot of people confuse creatine with creatinine. Now, realize this, that just because two things sound alike doesn't mean they are the same, all right? High creatinine levels indicate a damage to your kidneys, okay? Creatine has nothing to do with creatinine, okay? I have been taking creatine for years and it does not affect my kidneys at all. My kidneys are in perfect health. And this is not just example, you can go Google it, research it, read a hundred thousand papers you want and they'll all say the same. Creatine does not damage your kidneys. Creatine has nothing to do with creatine. In. What creatine does, all right, is that it provides the extra phosphate molecule that ATP needs for its recovery to produce power in your body, all right? So creatine will help you in sports where you want to develop one stroke of power and then you have a little rest and then again a stroke of power and then you have a little rest. Creatine will not help you in endurance activities. So people who are like marathon runners taking creatine, you're just wasting your money. Do not waste your money on that. But if you're in power based sports, creatine is pretty much good. Okay. So if you're striving for strength, if you're trying to increase your maximal lift, creatine is definitely helping you. Creatine also does help you in sports that require explosive energy like boxing but not so much as pure power and speed and strength so power and strength not speed so if you are an mma athlete who is training to get stronger along with lifts creatine should be in your stack all right it is a primary need creatine monohydrate is by far the most proven ergogenic aid you can have there are a lot of fancy options available like creatine nitrate and um, creatine HCl which I initially experimented with a lot but then I veered away from it because apart from the fact that it does not require any insulin spike for it to be absorbed very well it does not really have that much performance benefits as compared to pure creatine monohydrate so I'd rather go on a genuine gaining cycle and put on creatine monohydrate in my system and get like really good strength benefits then keep using creatine nitrate and creatine HCl over a long period of time. Also, creatine, and, creatine nitrate and creatine HCl do not agree very well with my system. They give me a stomach upset, so I'm not very much in favor of them. But that's a personal thing. If you like experimenting with creatine nitrate or creatine monohydrate, sorry, creatine uh, HCl, please go ahead. But by far, the cheapest and most effective ergogenic aid you can give yourself on a strength cycle is creatine monohydrate. So recently, uh, Big Flex sent me a sample of their flavored creatine monohydrate, right? Very few brands nowadays make creatine monohydrate, unfortunately. And because all of them have gone to the fancier ones, creatine HCl, creatine nitrate and all of that stuff. But creatine monohydrate, uh, usually I take it unflavored, but this one is flavored. So I can use this at an intra-workout or I can use it post-workout or I use it anytime I feel like. People think that you put in creatine just before your workout and hit your workout and you'll have a great workout. That is not how it works because from the creatine monohydrate, okay, for the phosphate to get into your cycle properly, it takes about 12 to 24 hours. So the creatine you're consuming today will be used up tomorrow. Similarly, when you just start off creatine, you need to start off with a loading cycle of three to five days. So three to five days, you over consume creatine by five to 10 grams, depending on at what level you are. Okay, which is the double of the normal dose and then you get down to your normal dose. Okay, so you supercharge your system with creatine and then 
you start using it as a, on a daily basis because initially you're going to start from a depleted point. So it's important that you get your body levels to an optimal point and then maintain it there. So super loading and then continue on a regular cycle is what is important. Again, if you're doing creatine, try to observe a 45 day on 45 day off kind of cycle so that your own body gets time to go in and out of the creatine cycle, not become dependent on it, learn to act, like actually use its own systems a lot much better. So yeah, uh, that is all I have to say about creatine. Also, one more thing, the basic science of how creatine works, all right? So uh, I shouldn't have skipped that. I should have covered that in the very beginning. But anyways, since it's a casual talk, I can explain it to you right now. So you have adenosine triphosphate, all right? Which is the energy currency in your cells, which is used up in your mitochondria to produce energy for your cells. And that's where your power generation comes from. So ATP gets broken down to ADP. Okay, when energy is produced, that one phosphate molecule is taken. Now, if you have nothing in your bloodstream providing that extra phosphate molecule to turn ADP back into ATP, you don't have power. You don't have power generation, you don't have energy. You don't have the strength to provide that force. So what creatine does it? It provides that extra phosphate molecules for your ADP to keep reconverting back to ATP and keeping your body flush with power. All right. So if you have enough creatine in your system, you will be more powerful in your performance. And creatine can be gained from natural sources like red meat and eggs and meat and poultry. But yeah, pretty much predominantly non-vegetarian sources. So if you are a vegetarian, you should definitely be supplementing with creatine. And as I said, creatine monohydrate is your best go-to option. Do try out Big Flex's creatine monohydrate. I chose the orange flavor because it's quite tasty and you can have it in trouble workout as a cold drink whenever you want. Just keep your energy systems flush with creatine monohydrate and phosphate molecules so that you keep generating power, keep generating strength and keep getting stronger. This is Pushkaraj Shirke for Project Battlefit. If you like this video, let me know. I'll make more of these like supplement reviews and stuff to help you guys out. Choose your supplements better and you keep improving your performance. If not, tell me what kind of videos you'd like to see from me and I'll make sure that I create them for you. Cheers, guys. See ya. Take care and be strong.